biggest event in Sapporo's winter calendar is the Snow Festival, where millions of visitors from across the globe come to see hundreds of incredible sculptures crafted out of snow. I'm here in January, ahead of February's week-long snow festival, now in its 75th year. Hi, Rina. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet and you. Welcome to Hokkaido. Thank you. This looks incredible. I had no yes, idea they yes. were so big. So yes. this behind us is what this is going to become. Yes, it's like the most exciting festival that happens in this region. Mina Tsushida works in AI and chairs startup Hokkaido. She's been coming to the snow festival with her family for many years. The events become incredibly high tech with apps that bring the sculptures to life and projections that illuminate them by night. Mina's startup is creating AI videos to help with planning, making the festival greener. So this is like the simulation right now. And I can see everyone moving around on here in real yes. time. This helps festival organizers reduce waste by showing them where resources are most needed. So the heating is one problem, mm. or maybe transportation and all the light ups and stuff. So we can control the electricity amount to keep this event sustainable. Over a thousand volunteers help behind the scenes <laughs> and I'm setting to work as a snowmason. So you can put the snow in and then I will, uh, yeah, yeah, I will yeah, bash. Yeah, I feel like I'm taking more snow out than I'm putting yeah. in, but it keeps you warm in this cold weather, though. <laughs> I like it. One brick down out of 80 being made here today. Oh, it's the moment of truth. Oh, oh. Yeah, beautiful. there it is. My son. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's imperfect, but, you know, hopefully it won't cause the whole building to collapse. <laughs> As festival sculptures get their finishing touches, I'm left with an impression of a city that not only survives the snow, but celebrates it. Adaptation is key in this climate, which I'm seeing as we go underground. This is absolutely incredible down here. It's like a city beneath the city. Several kilometers of underground streets make it easier to navigate the city during the harsh winter months. The startups here are also shaped by the elements and we're heading to Sapporo's newest innovation hub. First thing that strikes me in here is there's a, there's a lot yes, of wood. Yes, actually, this is the largest wooden architecture in this city. This architecture exemplifies the city's green credentials, with Japan naming Sapporo a special zone for green projects. It's a place for researchers and businesses to forge environmental projects across Hokkaido. We have these like varieties of climate yeah. and also the huge land to experiment. So academia and the real field is just there. The land and the ocean and the wind, this is the key. 